Welcome to the beach trip. Beach ball balloons not even facing the camera. They can't even. It's the best part of the whole trip so far. Haley and I decided to go to Cape May. We booked this Airbnb. I'm gonna tell you what really happened on this trip because I don't think that Julia is gonna be totally honest with you guys. She picked me up. She was late, by the way. Could not get her phone to connect to her car for the life of her. We've been on the road for what, five minutes? I would say eight to be exact. Haley also got this balloon. I hate it. What I'm very excited for, I'm not gonna lie, is the editing that will be done by the time you guys see this because Hannah Maloche, we're coming for your brand. Yes, <laughs> we are coming for your brand. I want to know how they do it though. Like we need to figure that out. I know. So interesting because they just like tell their brutal opinions on everything. <laughs> Fact of the morning, I learned Julia doesn't like watermelon, so all this is I don't for me. I hate watermelon. Like I wouldn't wake up and be like, man, that looks so good. Like I'd be like, eh, it's watermelon. I give her a warm welcome with a balloon and watermelon and girl says, watermelon all the things you could have picked and you picked watermelon she already had the whole trip on a negative note the whole trip i'm telling you so but you're not going to eat any of the watermelon um most likely not try it first and tell me if they made oh, it good today you're right because i've I'll had know. this so many times they didn't put the cinnamon sugar on top which is already bad did they not do a good job I've had better. It's not the worst, but I've had better. No, it's fine. Like the places that do it good, I can take a sip from the top here and I taste the caramel. I'm gonna try one of these berry donuts. I oh yeah! What it is. I'm I gonna try a berry donut. This guy. It doesn't sound that good to me, honestly. It's actually good. I have the veggie egg white wake up wrap. It was supposed to be like two and a half hours. Like the time was stuck on two hours and 11 minutes for literally like probably like 30 minutes. Then as we were on the way there, she's like, you know, you realize like I wanted to talk about what we wanted to do on this trip and we never talked about it. So like, what are we gonna do with all the time that we're there? And I'm like, calm down, settle down. I go to town, I am being the world's best passenger. Not only was the GPS just like not going down in terms of our arrival time or like the, the hours it was gonna take to get there, the amount of hard stops that Julia put me through and had to apologize for literally put me through pain. We drove past our place and it looked super nice, um, but we realized our place is on someone else's property because it's an Airbnb, but normally it's like a condo, but this one is like their little cottage, but it's really cool actually. And we drove down to the beach. Here. It was such a nice that day. Wow. <laughs> anyway, we're going in the ocean. Enjoy the cliffs. Bye. Yes. Hear me out. Um, I said that we would get water footage, however, I tried to turn the camera on and it just wouldn't, so I'm assuming it's dead. Stone cold dead. So she lied to you guys. That was just a lie. Sorry about that one. Then we went in the water and Haley kept making fun of me because when it was cold, I would go like this. I honestly don't know why I do that. I just make weird gestures when it's cold. I was also playing a game that you should try. Um, when a wave comes, you like swim into it. Haley didn't find my game fun or fun and she was also being rude to me the entire time she kept telling me to play this game like it's not a game she's like you flip over the waves and you run up to it and then you jump and i sucked at it i got like totally bamboozled it was more just jumping waves like normal people do we were driving back from the beach so she could come shower and it was so funny because again julia coming to her hard stop at the traffic light and there was this song that was playing and we want to remember the song so bad but we don't she took both hands off the wheel was pumping her fist and i noticed the light had turned green and it was green for like a good five seconds and then the car behind us honks and i'm like julia what are you doing and she's like oh i didn't see that and she's like i don't remember what happened like she had short-term memory loss she has a good memory but she just totally forgot that she was dancing at the wheel and having someone honk at her instead of going at the green house. House tour now. Hi, welcome home. Looks like you beat me here. This Airbnb is newly renovated and it has so many great amenities. You're gonna love this house tour. It's an all in one location. You have everything you could possibly need to live, survive, and thrive while you're here. Ignore our stuff. We already made the place more messy than it was when we got here. Washer, dryer, ironing, vacuum. Comfy couch number one. Is it comfy? 
Comfy couch number two. It's moderately comfy. It's a bit wrinkly for my taste, honestly. Many comfy blankets. Oh, this is so soft. We have a lamp. Look at that. Fully functioning ceiling fan and a remote that controls it. Julia figured that out. I never would have figured that out. Little table. Look, ready? Thumbnail. You weren't using a coaster. You're welcome. We have tic-tac-toe in which I will beat Julia later. Also, she pointed out this is probably a converted garage. It probably is. We have cabinet. Cabinet. More cabinet. Literally anything you could need. Oven. Make sure it's empty. We already made ourselves very at home with the fridge. Two whole water bottles. That's all we thought to pack. The fact that we didn't think to bring anything else. They gave us butter bread. Ooh. Oh, look, look. Oh. Single vanilla fudge cone. Ooh. I feel like that's been there for a while though, so I'm not gonna touch that. No. Why did they freeze baking soda? Some people do. Some ice cubes, probably gonna need those. Good for water. Welcome to my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful studio lighting in Ooh. front of this gorgeous rectangular mirror. Sink with some fresh, 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 <laughs> fresh citrus and soap. Fully equipped shower. Body wash. Conditioner and shampoo Aussie brand, which looks very nice. Please look that up insert the price because we are rich while we're here <laughs> Toilet. This is only open because Julia was playing with it. Uh-uh, it was open. Was it really? Yeah. Oh, it looks like we have an air freshener Relax. This is where we're staying North Cape May. We have a nice toaster Fully functional microwave. Look how clean. I'm used to crappy microwaves Beautiful. It's olive oil if we need it. Look at that. The better. <laughs> The lighting from that room to this one, it's so good in here. It's so good. So good. A fan, fan. curtain, clean towels, sparkling clean. Ooh. Kind of a fan, just like an air conditioner. It feels good though. Ignore my luggage. And then. My luggage. The bed. It's very much cute. We have fake flowers. Those are peonies, actually. I work at a flower shop. Those are fake. Oh. <laughs> Seagull painting, open closet thing. Beautiful. If we happen to stumble across a guest that wants to sleep, a bed. In, we have an extra bed. That's the tour. Hopefully, I didn't take up too much of your time. Julia has to shower now, so we'll see you when she's done. And see you at Harry's. And we left to go to this place called Harry's. It's a restaurant. It's really popular. It's right on the beach. Their slogan is keep calm and harry on and Haley kept saying that. I was not amused, just like she wasn't amused with my game. We thought it would be a one hour wait. They said that the wait was two hours. We decided to wait because we really wanted this Harry's. So we did a little shopping, took pictures on the beach first, and we needed to kill some time, so we made a little beach montage. <laughs> incredibly disappointing. Mac and cheese was not great. Bread was not great. Waiter was great. Uh, loaded fries were great. Clam chowder, excellent. We saw another table get bread, and then we realized it was bread that you get with like mussels, so it was like cold. They at least gave it to us, which was nice of them, and they didn't even charge us, so that was cool. We went to this mini golfing place that was really nice, and it had these cool LED waterfalls. We were in a very strong competition. I thought I was gonna win. Unfortunately, I dropped the ball in the water, I did bad, and I lost by like six points. Julia literally flung the ball at one point off the golf course, and I'm not just saying like off the putting green, I'm talking off the golf course, and she had to get on her knees in the rocks, like the actual rocks on the golf course. It was so funny. She's down too. Oh, come on, literally. In the moon, in the moon. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Like Not in the water? Yeah. <laughs> Again. All right, I jinxed myself. I am getting a five. Are you getting a five? I just don't want to take that. I think this is good. Yes. Wow. We came back here and we watched All American, which is a really good show. We couldn't get the first episode on Hulu and I'm caught up so I knew what was going on, but Haley probably didn't. 
I woke up really early, like way before Julia did. So while she was still sleeping, I just kind of like chilled out in the main room, spending some time on my phone, used Julia's charger, cause I forgot my charger. So thank you for that. Day two, we went to this little cafe in the morning. I think it was called Beach Plum Cafe. It looked really promising, you know? No. We started the day by going to this really bad coffee shop. Julia wanted this cold brew with caramel and milk. Like super simple, straightforward, but a delicious drink. They filled it like 95% full of the cold brew, two baby pumps of this watered down caramel sauce, and they didn't put the milk in for her. They're like, you can go put the milk in over there when this girl was sitting next to this big ass jug of milk. They literally used La Colombe coffee. It literally tasted like mud water. I got a blackberry coconut scone and I'm not gonna lie, that was really good. Haley got a quiche and said it was also pretty good, but like not the best, you know? I got this draft chocolate milk in a can, which was so much fun. Shout out to the balloon. It's still going strong on its third day. We ate it on the beach actually, and I threw out my coffee before we got to the beach because it was that bad. Thank you, Julia, for being so good about like the timing. Like she would set a timer so we didn't go past when the parking expired and stuff like that. Haley got this chocolate milk. It was La Colombe chocolate milk. She spilled it all over her white dress and she ran in the ocean and started screaming about it. Haley got something on her thing, on her cover up. She's sad. It kind of did help. I'm mad, it's a pure white dress. It, it looks better. Look at this crap. And then we basically sat out in the sun for like two hours. I was getting so hot, so I took some clips of the ocean down by the water. And we went in the ocean and we brought the little vlog camera to get some clips. Julia was playing her quote unquote game, as she calls it. She wanted me to record it, so I did. She recorded a little bit of me, which was cool. She gave it back to me. Bad idea on her part. Should have never done that. Do not trust me with anything. She went out to do her game over a big wave. And then as soon as I got up, I think I turned the camera and was like, ew, I look gross right now. She was like on the sand and I looked behind me and I was like, be careful, there's another wave. Of course, as soon as I say that, another wave comes over. I wipe out again. My whole boob comes out of my swimsuit top and I like a supportive top. I had no more support. As I'm trying to like adjust my hand and fix it so that I don't flash everybody, uh, I dropped her camera in the ocean. And she's like, you did what? Excuse me, that was my SD card. That was like my waterproof thing and you dropped it. Are you kidding me? But she wasn't mad. She was like, playfully mad, but she was mad. I wasn't really mad because I've done that before in the ocean, like I've dropped the camera, I understand. And she felt really bad, but I was kind of like in shock, so I just didn't really say anything. And Haley was like, we can find it, we can find it. And I was like, no, it's gone. I was feeling like around with my foot trying to find it. And she's like, no, it's gone. Like just accepting that it was gone. All of a sudden we're looking like low key, we're just like walking along like the ocean like where the ocean meets the beach and I see this guy we see him playing with like this box looking thing so I like walked in and I was like is that ours and they were like yeah and it was the camera we showered we just chilled for a little and then we went back out we decided to go to a water park in Wildwood the water park that we went to which was called Maury's Pier was in North Wildwood <laughs> So much fun. Some of the rides were a little um, concerning. These slides, so many of them were head first on like a mat. Julia kept getting stuck. Hilarious. When Julia gets stuck on the ride, it's the funniest thing. There was this one that dropped you five stories in three seconds called the cliff dive. This steep and you like fly off the slide low key. It was so funny because there were these adults in line and then this little kid behind us and this little kid was like, is this your first time doing it? This is my third time today. And like the adults in front of us were all giving each other like a pep talk. And apparently I screamed really loud when I went down the slide because I was first out of me and Julia. But then watching her come down the slide, it was 
so funny because the drop off is like big enough so you mostly sink but like just her foot bobbled out of the slide it was so funny when we were in the lazy river we brought out the camera vlog again and it died before we could get this on film but these boys they looked about like 16 one was 13 started like yelling at us trying to get on the camera i was like it's literally dead one of them took it and like threw it in the water he was like does it float and i was like do not throw it in the water they were like are you single Haley was like no and then Haley told them i was single yes but like they didn't need to know that she's single like me pointing to julia but i'm like no i'm taken i'm very happy and they're like oh well can your boyfriend fight i don't know why this was my comeback but i was just like well he's smart as in like he's smart and he knows a thing or two like he can defend himself he's like oh well can your smart boyfriend fight and i'm like i'm not having this conversation with you we were all in like single tubes and then there was this one kid who took up a double tube and he he used his double to like barricade me and julia from each other and he had julia's camera hostage and like the other guys were like slamming me against this rock wall and i'm like what am i doing here like how did i end up in this situation i got this cut because i rubbed my knee on like the hard scratchy water park like stair material the kid he held onto our rafts for like 10 minutes asking if he would date like i think it was his brother nick and we were like no we don't want nick we were videotaping each other like on this like obstacle course thing that I could not do for my life because it hurt my hands so bad. I literally have a blister from it. I did it fine. Like Julia recorded me, I got through fine. <laughs> yes. Hey! How do you feel, VIP? Oh, I feel. Right. Are you okay? Haley could do it somehow and these kids found us again while we were doing that and they came into the clip Oh shoot, I have to record her. I'm so sorry. Hi, nice to see you <laughs> She's doing the thing. I have to record her I have to record my friend. I'm sorry <laughs> Yeah See, she's single <laughs> So they came up to me and they were saying like, oh, so what's your snap? And I'm like, I told you, I am taken. I'm not interested. And they're like, you're not interested in this. And they flexed their muscles for me. And then I told them like, oh, well, my boyfriend would have you beat at that, no offense. We did a little bit of shopping. I was playing this basketball game trying to win my boyfriend a Raptors jersey. $20 later, I did not win the Raptors jersey. However, I won a New York Yankees basketball, which was cool. I got two in in a row and then he's like, hey everyone, come watch her. And then I missed the third one. Stone Harbor was so pretty. It was like such a cute little road we were on. Haley's roommate for college suggested some places to go. First, we went out to this place called Jack Shack. It was so cute. It was like boat themed. I got Parmesan and ranch fries and mac and cheese bites and they were so good. Haley got a tender combo, but their fries, I'm telling you, were so good. Left Wildwood, went to Stone Harbor, had a great dinner at this place called Jack Shack chicken fingers and fries were so good their fries were like the best beach fries uh did some shopping almost got her cousin chris a sweatshirt that said stoned harbor it was so funny we walked around stone harbor we did a little shopping i got a really cute sweatshirt we got this five dollar mystery bag full of like crap jewelry was very funny we had delicious ice cream at this place called springers that my friend from pit recommended julia spilled all over herself but it was fine mine was delicious the strawberry cheesecake and birthday cake scoops the line was so long we each got two scoops of ice cream i got this one called the blue one it was cookie dough with oreo in it but it was like dyed blue first of all it was not that good the other flavor birthday cake amazing it got all over my new sweatshirt all over my phone all over me and it was like blue 
all over my teeth it was gross i couldn't even eat all of it because every time i took a bite it would just get all over it melted so quick otherwise the place was really good it was just packed. We watched some All American and we went to bed. So it's been a pretty fun trip so far. And this morning we're going to Saltwater Cafe. I'm getting a clip.